bring you the best of the best and more. Well today friends, I am making cookies. Ooey, gooey, fudgy, chewy. The best double chocolate chip cookies you will ever taste. They are absolutely amazing. They are fudgy, they are chewy, and they are chock full of chocolate chips. So let's get to the recipe. First we're going to take one cup of brown sugar and put it in the mixer bowl. Now if you do not have brown sugar, I mean if you do not have a mixer bowl, you can do this whole recipe by hand. But I have a mixer so I'm using it. So one cup of brown sugar with one third of a cup of melted butter. Waste that a little bit. It's just going to give you a crumbly, wet uh, brown sugar look. And to that, I'm going to add one whole egg yolk and one egg yolk by don't eat without the white. So one whole egg and one whole egg yolk. I'm going to mix those together until they are nice and creamy and delicious. <laughs> I love making cookies. It reminds me of holiday time. My mom used, used to always give boxes of cookies to all of the families um, that I grew up with. All of my aunts and uncles got a box of cookies as their Christmas gift for their family from my family. So every time I bake cookies, that's what I'm thinking of. Sharing, sharing delicious cookies with my family and friends. And so I hope you also like to bake cookies. Um, if you don't have a special occasion, just because, just because you want to bake some cookies and you want to show somebody that you care. Bake cookies. <laughs> It's always a winner. <laughs> so you just want to kind of cream those two together. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's just looking like a nice, smooth, um, smooth batter with just the eggs, the brown sugar, and the butter. I'm going to take that off for now because the rest I'm going to do by hand. So here I have one cup of flour, a third of a cup of cocoa powder, and one teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm going to add that to my mixture. It's a really easy um, cookie uh, to make. It's really easy. So um, you can whip these up and in the morning before you go to work and have fresh baked cookies when you get to work or to any event that you're going to. Be careful. You don't do what I just did. I sprayed myself with flour and cocoa powder. Just be careful and get all of the ingredients mixed in. You don't really want to do this part with your mixer because you can over mix this batter and you want this batter to produce those ooey gooey chewy cookies that I was talking about. So take your time. Once you mix the eggs and butter mix, take your time and make sure the flour and the cocoa powder is mixed in very well so that your cookies will come out nice and delicious. So to this mixture I am going to add uh, one teaspoon of my homemade vanilla extract and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just going to add that right in and uh, give that a quick mix. And then we'll add our chocolate chips. Now, when you add your chocolate chips in, you can do one of two things you can add them all into the batter, or you can add half of them in the batter and then sprinkle the other half on top. So this is the consistency your gooey gooey fudgy cookie should be. Should be falling off, should be should be very stiff, should be 
uh, um, thicker than a cake mix, but thinner than your traditional cookie mix. So I'm going to add all of my chocolate chips in because I want all of my chocolate chips mixed in. And I'm using uh, mini chocolate chips, semi-sweet. You can put whatever type of chocolate chip you like. If you like uh, milk chocolate chips, if you like white chocolate chips, if you like peanut butter chips, you can put whatever type of chips that you like in this cookie. And it will be delicious. Because if you start with a good batter, you're going to end up with a good cookie. And this is a good batter. So, now that our batter is done, <clears throat> I am going to spoon my cookie dough onto this baking tray. And we are going to bake these for about 8 minutes in a 350 degree oven. So, this is about the size that I like. These are going to spread, so give them about two inches in between each cookie. And I'm not exactly sure how many cookies you're gonna get out of this because it depends on how big you make the cookies. But we'll see how many I make with these this size probably about two dozen I would suspect and because I'm using the mini chips it's putting chocolate all through this bag to be so chewy it's gonna be so fudgy it's gonna be so delicious I can't wait so you want them to all be about the same size so they bake at the same speed so, if you see some are a little smaller than others, then you can make them a little bit bigger. So they all bake at the same time. Alright. So now I'm going to go put these in the oven, and I'll see you when they're all baked. Alright, welcome back. Our cookies are fully baked, as you can see. They are nice. And let's see. Moist, fudgy, delicious. This cookie is amazing. I can't wait for you to try this, this cookie recipe. It's so delicious. The cookies, don't be tempted to over bake them. The recipe says eight minutes, bake them for eight minutes. And they will be fudgy, it will be delicious. Moist, they're chewy, they're everything you want a double chocolate cookie to be. Hi, I just wanted to tell you thank you for watching this video and to let you know that this these are about mm, three and two and a half inch cookies and it made 21 cookies. This recipe made 21 cookies. I thought it would make two dozen, but it only made 21. So I just want you to know that I told you I would tell you how many cookies it made. So they are delicious. They're wonderful. I hope you take the time out and make these cookies. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Have a blessed weekend. Bye for now.